I continue to be amazed that the disconnect there is between people and their food. There's no personal connection or responsibility between that person's health and the food they're eating. And to me, because of the, what we have done and what we have gone through in our lives, it's first and foremost. I think if we are able to get our soils healthier, that that will then allow our environment and ourselves to be healthier. And that's exactly what we're trying to do here at Back to Earth Farm. We're trying to create a nutrient-dense food that is very healthy for people and is also healthy for our animals. It's a great cycle that we see the connection from the beginning to the end. It's not just the cow, it starts in the dirt. It's almost where are we grass farmers more than we're beef farmers. What I call this is managed grazing. In the 15 minutes to 30 minutes to an hour that it takes me to move fences, I get to see every one of my cows. They walk right by me going to the next paddock. They have different personalities. We have a spokes cow who likes to tell me exactly when, when it's time to move. We are trying to bring that sense of community back today and we're not the only ones doing this. The table is really, to me, the foundation, and it's the heartbeat of a home. It's a place that people gather, relationships are built. That's what we wanted to see brought into a community. I didn't want to just slap a sticker, I'm opening up a farm-to-table restaurant because that's the thing to do. We want to bring something with excellence, and that does mean bringing fresh foods to our table. When the table opened up, it was, a, it was a godsend for us because that is exactly how we like to eat. We like food made from scratch, real food, and we aren't turned off by the $4 for a cup of coffee or something like that. We understand what goes into what they're doing there, and we appreciate it, and we would always want to support that. You don't realize how important it is to buy local until you're a small business owner. <laughs> yourself and then you realize how important it is um, that you um, that you support the other people in the positions that you're in. The restaurant world was all new to me. I had never even waitressed or waited on tables, nothing. And but my heart was for community and for relationship. And so when we opened the doors it was overwhelming. Um, and for, honestly, for three years, we had been in survival mode just to, to figure out what, what we were doing. Um, but in that time, you also had farmers coming in and, and dining with us and our guests, and we have been able to build relationships with them um, and then watch their visions starting to come around. And now we're able to grow together and to go, we can finally have time to go out and visit these beautiful farms and to watch what they have poured their lives into. We get energized by having people who aren't familiar with what we're doing, who, are, who have become disconnected from the land, to actually get out here and help us get their hands dirty, help us move the cows, help us with the chickens. And you really see it in their eyes, how engaged they are at that, wow, people are doing this, this is really neat. And you just see them embracing it and it's a whole new experience. It's really a privilege for me to be able to come to Back to Earth Farm because I know this is Tom's heart and cooking is my heart. To be able to visit Back to Earth Farm and get to know Tom and his family and his crew, that's all I need. That's all the validation I need to know that I'm doing my best. When you actually step foot on their property and you see what they do every day, if finally that $10 plate, it's okay to go to 12 you know what I mean? Because I'm like, it's worth 20. Tom has taught me so much. I am surprised at how much effort goes into simply corralling the heifers and the animals from one place to the next. I really didn't know that it happened every day or even every week. I now see the effort and the knowledge that is from beneath the soil up to the sky to nurture these 
animals, and this product. As a chef, I am passionate about working with ingredient and technique. I want to do as little as possible to the product because I like to respect it. I don't want to cover anything up. I want to enhance the product, not hide it. I believe our tastes have been so skewed. We've been inundated with salt, sugar, artificial flavor. Going back and changing our palates so that when we are hungry, we will crave something with flavor and not something that's just sweet or salty. That's why I think this movement is, is important for everyone. You set that standard and then I think people come and they appreciate it and they did not realize what they were missing. It's just exciting to see that the community is going, you know what, I trust you, you know, let's, I want to try more. They appreciate what we do and that our prices are going to be higher than the normal commodity beef because of all that we do to make our grass finished beef as great a product as we possibly can. And now the two of us are able to grow together with what they have been doing successfully for two and a half years, food made from scratch, educating the community, letting the community trust that what they're doing is really providing the best product they can. And if they're buying from Back to Earth Farms, Back to Earth Farms must be doing it the right way. And that is just a great validation for what we're doing out here. There is so much to learn visiting a farm. It's not just about the end of the day product, it's about the process. I just encourage all of our guests that come through these doors to take time to, to follow and to, and to visit these farms, to go to our local dairy that's been um, a family owned business for years and years and to support that and to, to keep it growing. And, and Tom and Janice, as they keep growing and, and plugging into what they love um, because it's going to provide only not only us incredible product but it's, it's helping our community grow in lots of ways not just not just farm to table but it's relationship.